uh, is commissioning Mars Incorporate, uh, Incorporated for its 7 billion shilling chewing gum factory built in subsidiary Wrigley's in Afi River. Now, Brenda Kerubo, very good afternoon to you. How important is this venture to Kenya's economy right now? That, of course by our CS, of course, for industrialization, Peter Munya, who is here with us. But currently, let me just walk you through what happened a couple of minutes ago. So, Re Mass Ringley's confectionery has just officially opened its 7 billion shilling plant right here in, Mavaku, in Mavoko, Machakos County. Now, the plant, of course, promises to employ manufacturing jobs directly as well as more jobs indirectly through its value chain. It also promises to export to at least 14 countries to the countries in neighboring Kenya. We're talking about Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Tanzania, Djibouti, DRC, all these from exports that will actually be uh, manufactured here in the country. So Kenya is open for business. What can we link this to? Our CSC for industrialization. Peter Munya gives us more insights. Thank you so much for joining us, Meshimiwa. Um, this is a big milestone for Kenya, $7 billion in foreign direct investment. Yes, indeed. This is a vote, on confidence, a vote of confidence in Kenya. And it is also a show of uh, commitment by you know, uh, uh, mass Wrigley's, who have been in this market for 50 years and who still continues in increasing the investment in this country. I wanted to say actually the plan the president had was to open this factory and open other two factories. One in one a pharmaceutical uh, factory that is putting up 12 billion in, in, in the, at the EPZ and um, a building materials company that is in Kajiando. Just a sample of the new factories that have taken space in Kenya, and there are many of them, we just picked a few samples to show that there is a renewed commitment in this market and there are many other companies that are set to open up here. But we want to really appreciate those who have been in the market, put in 7 billion into this market to produce for the entire region. In fact, they have told me that this is the only factory of its kind in the whole of Africa. Because the one in Egypt is producing um, chocolate, but the one that is producing sweets and the other confectioners in the whole of Africa is only this factory. Putting in new capital, 7 billion. It's a vote of confidence and we are really thankful to mass confectionery and look forward to working with them to make sure that their businesses thrive and deal whatever, with whatever challenge that may affect their business. One of the challenges we are dealing with is to make sure that they are able, what they produce under the commerce and the East African community agreement, they are able to sell their, their products across uh, this region. And the little challenge that has been there between Kenya and Tanzania is being addressed. In fact, on the 27th of, of this month, there will be a bilateral meeting between Tanzania and Kenya to address some of those bottlenecks that have made it difficult for cross-border trade in, in, in this region. We are also pleased that the Continental Free Trade Agreement is, has taken off after the threshold of the countries that were required to sign off have already signed off. So we are looking forward to a very robust business environment in Africa with reduced bound barriers to trade and a more integrated continent that promises a great future for the people of Africa. So what is Kenya doing right? Because like you're saying, there are very many international companies looking at setting shop in the country. What exactly is Kenya doing right? Well, we've done many reforms that have contributed to, you know, businesses setting up in, in Kenya. Key among them is obviously you have seen the heavy investment that the government have put in infrastructure, roads, you know, uh, even the railway. So people would like to say other things about it, but a lot of infrastructure investment 